theme of today's liturgy of the word is searching for God, the priceless treasure. The opening prayer of today's liturgical celebration helps us to reflect today's reading. First of all, it says that we need to pay attention to what is holy and the foundation of our life. Secondly, knowing that God is the foundation of our life is a sign of growing in wisdom. Thirdly, after knowing it, we keep aside what is not useful and focus our attention on what is useful. Summarizing these aspects of growing in holiness, Jesus uses the expression Kingdom of God in today's Gospel. It is interesting to note that this expression occurs in New Testament at least 160 times and in the Synoptic Gospel it appears 120 times. The frequency of the usage of this expression reminds us how important the Kingdom of God is and how we need to partake in the Kingdom of God. The first step to partake in the Kingdom of God is to discern what is the best in the eyes of God. In the first reading, the King Solomon asked God to give a heart to understand how to govern his people and to discern between what is good and evil. Having pleaded God with right intention, King Solomon placed himself as the middleman between God and his people. It is very important to realize that we are not the master of the people entrusted to our care, but we play the path of middleman. It's very important to place God and his people above our individual self. King Solomon realized this fact and asked for discernment of the spirit. The second step in acquiring membership in his kingdom is to acquire the attitude of St. Paul who recognized the grace of Christ operating in and through us. In today's second reading, St. Paul tells us that God has a definite plan for us and that he executes his inscrutable plan at the right time. God justifies the person whom he called by bringing glory to him. Therefore, the realization of God's grace will fetch us a place in the kingdom of God. The third step in getting membership in his kingdom is to be vigilant always through constant search for lasting happiness. The two kingdom parables in today's gospel bring out this theme powerfully. In the first parable, the man finds the treasure without making a concentrated effort. He was clever enough to sell all that he had and buy the field. The parable calls us to recognize the treasure, the Christ, and it invites us to sell all that we consider not much important for the sake of Christ. At this moment, we remember the words of St. Paul who said, I consider everything as a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ who loved me, who loved me and gave his life for me. The second parable teaches us that it is not enough to be vigilant, but also we need to constantly search for growing in holiness or finding the finest pearl of our life. The person in the second parable constantly searches for something priceless and after having found it, he sells everything to buy the pearl. All of us at different point in time make a constant search in life. This can be of two types. At times we invest our time and energy on what is not very important. And the second type is to invest our time and searching what is important. The life of St. Augustine serves as a classical example of making an earnest search for God. At his young age, he focused his attention largely on worldly pleasures, but his life took a complete turn when he focused his attention on God, the treasure, and said, Lord, my heart is restless until I rest in thee. Let us therefore be aware of the invitation to be members of the kingdom of God. It is God who chooses us to his kingdom, although we are unworthy to acquire his privilege. 
Let's also pray for the grace to play the role of facilitator between God and his people and to be vigilant and curious in searching for the treasure, the Christ. May God bless us. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.